I've only just realized that I let the men I call my family and friends ruin my marriage. I've been divorced for almost two years and a few weeks ago my father, 67M, my two brothers, 37 man 40M, and four friends, 35M, 37M, 38, 41M, while very drunk joked about how they can't believe I left my wife. They said that they all tried to get with her since the divorce but she had repeatedly rejected them, saying it would be inappropriate and unkind to do such a thing to me. I laughed at what they were saying just to ease them into saying more, and once they thought I found it funny they really opened up. They had all purposely made me feel paranoid about my ex-wife cheating on me, and using me because why would a woman like her be with a man like me if it wasn't for the money I made? They often hinted at or sometimes even directly said that she wore the pants in the relationship and that she was only with me because I am easily manipulated. They constantly planted negative things into my mind. If I went to talk with them about something happening in my relationship they would put a negative twist to it or they'd purposely give me bad advice. Then when I lost my job during COVID they all hinted at how she's definitely cheating now that there's no financial benefit in being faithful to me. I obviously trusted them and often took their words to heart, and it ruined my marriage. I frequently argued with my wife, and I was always accusing her of something or suspecting her of not really loving me. I questioned everything that was between us. I often told her bullshit things like how I'm a high-value man and that she needed to appreciate me, and when I was not working for six months I flipped the script and started accusing her of not respecting me for not working. I was unappreciative of all her hard work and for being the one who took care of our household bills and any other bill during those six months of unemployment. I continued to let their words drive me into paranoia and I started accusing her of cheating with her co-workers. Eventually my wife had enough of my moods, constant mistrust and accusations. She left me and to be honest for a long time it felt like it came out of nowhere and so I had myself convinced she left me for another man. Now here I am knowing that every man I've called my family, my friend were all my enemies who I let destroy my marriage. I obviously lost my mind once they were done telling me all the ways they conspired to ruin my marriage, and we did get to blows. I've cut off all contact with each and every one of them. I want to reach out to my ex and make amends and hopefully get her back. My ex-wife has agreed to meet up with me and she doesn't know exactly what I want to discuss with her and I don't know how to go about making amends and hopefully mending our relationship. How do I tell her how much I regret everything and that I want her to give me a second chance? Is there even a chance for us? Edit. Some of y'all keep saying. You took the words of your friends over your wife's. And I don't think that's a to fair or complete assessment. I trusted my father and brothers. My father was the main driving force behind this manipulation campaign, and it's not often that your entire family is conspiring against you. And not only your family, but also your friends. I'm not running away from accepting the fact that it is wholly my fault in how my marriage ended. I take ownership of that. I take ownership of the fact that I accused my wife of being a cheater or a user. I regret it all. If my ex-wife doesn't accept my apology, I would accept it gracefully. If she said she never wanted to talk to me or ever get back together I'd also accept it. I would not stand in the way and I would not try to change her mind. I would wish her well and leave her be.